Hello friends, Palmer's point is used for this patient to perform diagnostic laparoscopy few years ago. After that patient developed obstruction and for that laparotomy was performed somewhere with midline incision. And then some infection happened and then later incisional hernia developed. And this is a Swiss cheese internal hernia. So, we will use Misra's point here to enter that is mid clavicular line 2 cm above the costal margin. After giving a stab wound, we will pull it down and then we will introduce the various needle. Advantage is that this area adhesion should not happen and it will easily enter. So, we will get 3 click and our direction of entry of the palmer should be towards the stomach. And the stomach should must have the nasogastric tube. Here we can see this is irrigation followed by suction and then hanging drop test. You can see there is a ball in the disposable various needle. So, once you will remove the syringe, this ball itself will shrink and that is one of the type of hanging drop test. Alternatively, you may do plunger test for that you have to take the piston of the syringe out and then as soon as you will lift the abdominal wall little bit you will see all the fluid is getting sucked in. So, that is plunger test and that is also one of the confirmation that we are inside the abdomen. So, now we can see pneumoperitoneum is started, preset pressure is 15, actual pressure is gradually increasing and within first few seconds it should be single digit and slowly the actual pressure will increase. Now, pneumoperitoneum is established and then we are increasing the incision and putting the first port it again in Misra's point. Advantage of Misra's point is that after creating pneumoperitoneum it will remain a stretcher down and this is hissing sound. If you will remove the you know thumb from the head of the trocar you will get a hissing sound. Now inside we can see there is a lot of adhesion with the omentum as well as with the bubble. So, these are right now momentum. So, we are performing surgery only by two port, one port in Palmer's point that is Misra's point and another port lumbar and we are doing with the harmonic adhesiolysis. Most of the time the ventral hernia you can perform only by two port if you have a harmonic scalpel because the gravity will act as a role here and as soon as you will keep on separating the adhesion, it will keep on dropping down. We can see here this is the falciform ligament and we have to cut the fatty part of the falciform ligament as well. So, that at least 6 centimeter all around the defect, we can have a domain to fix the mess and to do the transfacial fixation. So, this is cutting the fatty part of the falciform ligament and it is slowly dropping down. Harmonic has advantage that it will coagulate as well as cut. So, you do not have to need to have the seizures. You may use ligature, but harmonic is better a scalpel, better dissector compared to ligature. So, ligature is actually a vessel sealer. This is now we have reached to the membranous part of the falciform ligament. We can see this is a type of Swiss cheese hernia, there are multiple hernia with interconnecting breeze in the hernia. These type of hernia are easy to repair because one large, this is these are the bridges you can see. One large hernia you have to do I pump plus or you need to do the component separation. But in Swiss cheese type of hernia, once you will put the eye palm also, it works fine because these breezes, interherniation breezes, they give you a lot of strength and the support for your intraperitoneal only mess. And this, these are the breezes we can see and we will never cut this breeze because if you will cut this breeze, your support of the mess will decrease and if it is present, then fibrosis happen faster and it will be better eye palm because we are not using here eye palm plus. So, Swiss cheese hernia has this advantage, multiple small hernia has better outcome in laparoscopy compared to one big hernia. These are very strong breezes in between and multiple small small hernias are there. Like in front you can see there are three hernia already visible and couple of more is down. So, these type of hernias 
we will use with the titanium mesh that is a extra very strong mesh and it is made up of polypropylene and titanium. This is a new mesh which I will show you later once we will prepare the mesh then I will demonstrate you. Those meshes has advantage that they are made for intraperitoneal application. But we have to go long way with the adhesiolysis. So, we will see how to remove those adhesions carefully. You have to be very careful that in the jungles of this uh, you know momentum there may be hidden bobble loops and uh, you it has to be combination with the blunt as well as sharp dissection with the harmonic. So, this is again all omental adhesions it is slowly slowly separating and we have only one instrument you do not have a grasper only harmonic is there and one telescope is there. So, working instrument is only one, but uh, if you are very careful with the harmonic gravity will help you to drop the bobble away. We can see these areas behind is the bobble a small bobble is adhered. So, bluntly you can separate these from the anterior abdominal wall. So, slowly all the adhesion has to be separated. You have many options for the mess like many a time some people they use the polyurethane mess, polygalactane mess, omega 3 fatty acid treated mess and some of the messes are you know dual, some of the messes are composite and some of the messes has the different type of auto fixating, some 3D messes are available. So, there are many mesh you can see there is little bleeding. So, you will use this is just a omental bleeding. So, you can use minimum vibration of the harmonic and it will stop slowly slowly all the region and this bobbles we can see bobble wherever bobble is there you should avoid using the energy of the harmonic and tip of the harmonic should be closed and then slowly you can separate the bobbles. This is a small bubble which is adhered. Again, we can see there are couple of more hernias that is Swiss cheese pattern which is visible over the anterior abdominal wall. So, we can see here these are the momentum, but behind the momentum again a small bubble is there. So, we should not try to do in one direction more we should do all around equal. So, that you can get a more access because sometime inadvertently tip of the harmonic can touch the serosa and you can puncture. So, bilaterally symmetrically all around we should try to separate. This is also a small bubble adhered, but thankfully there is a tag and serosa is not directly adhered. Sometime if the serosa is directly adhered with the anterior abdominal wall, then you should use cold seizures to separate it. But these adhesions has a flimsy contact with the anterior abdominal wall, so harmonic will do the better job and with the blunt dissection also you can separate. We can see there are multiple another bridges also visible, but these bridges we will not destroy, we will not cut it also because it will give support for our hernia surgery. And in IPOM inguinal hernia surgery basically you know we are bridging the entire defect so, these bridges will give the support. If you are doing IPOM plus, if it is one large 
hernia that i pump plus for that we use extra corporeal misras not and we do the repair of the rectus divertication or the defect and then only mesh should be used <clears throat> and if it is even bigger than that then you may have to do component separation and then abdominal wall reconstruction has to be required extended tip is also one of the option which may be necessary in some of the cases Again here a small bowel is below, but thankfully direct serosa contact to the anterior abdominal wall is not there. So this is a combination of blunt as well as harmonic dissection and slowly the entire adhesion is getting separated. These are the pelvic area <clears throat> where we can see median and medial umbilical ligament started visible. So all the adhesion is separated, left side you can see it is sigmoid colon and these are the natural adhesions of the sigmoid colon that we will not remove. This is okay, left side there is no hernia, all the hernias are paramedian on the right side of the midline. So this is good thing and the rectus is almost correct, rectus is not deficient. So now you can measure open jaw of harmonic is approximately 2 centimeter. <clears throat> so if you want to measure this is 2, then 2, and 2, 4, and then 6, and then 8, and then 10, and this 12, and then 14, 16, 17 centimeter. And uh, here we will use 25 by 15 size of the mesh. This is titanium mesh, it is made in Germany this mesh is and it is time mesh. This is reinforced titanium mesh which is very good and very strong mesh and it made for intraperitoneal application. So you will put the mesh with the wrap so that mesh should not come in the contact with the bowel and all the four corner to 2 centimeter lateral to the four corner we will give a stab wound with the 11 number of knife. After that mesh will be removed and corner of the mesh you can tie the suture and this is for transfacial fixation. Transfacial fixation has a advantage that your mesh will be bilaterally symmetrically pressed and there is no chance of going asymmetrical and it will remain stretched nicely. So we will tie vicryl in all the four corner, limb of the vicryl should be 10, 10 centimeter that means 20 centimeter vicryl at one corner and it should tie a with the needle you should pass it through the mess of net of the mess in the corner and then tie this white trail. So transfacial fixation previously people were using proline but proline is sometimes very painful and by the time this vehicle will get absorbed already mess will get fibrosed. And tie mess is made for intraperitoneal application company is saying that it does not uh, adhere with the viscera abdominal wall uh, and uh, means uh, with the bowel and it has its own very uh, strong reinforcement capacity. 
So just uh, corner suture is getting tightened. And this is the third corner <coughs> and now you will apply on the fourth corner. So this is over after that it should be wrapped like a shari plated and then with a grasper you will hold it obliquely open the valve of the cannula in the misra's point and then entire mesh can be introduced into the abdomen through the palmer's point and then this is the cobbler's needle which is doing transfacial fixation. You can see we are almost near the deep ring so it is and just lateral to the inferior epigastric vessel. Inferior epigastric vessel should be taken in consideration because if it will puncture it will create hematoma and it will take a lot of time for you to do the repair of the vessel. So this is the most remote corner that is the right iliac fossa is fixed first and now this is the right hypochondrium. This is the right hypochondrium and then you will use left iliac fossa and then left hypochondrium. So we have to give same skin prick but separate rectus prick so that in transfacial fixation once you tie the knot outside the suture will completely go back. This is the left iliac fossa. This is first and this is the second suture of the left iliac fossa corner. And then last will be left hypochondrium where your optical port is there. And this is pulled. After that we can see mesh is nicely stretched all around. And it is symmetrical center of the message in the center of defect and it has gone all around 6 centimeter beyond the margin of the defect in the healthy area. And after that we will fire tacker. The outer crowning will be done and after that inner crowning we can fire few of the tacker over the inter herniation bridges. But we should never fire the tacker where actually hernia is. So this is outer crowning. And first we will fire in the middle of this defect. So middle of the mesh. So this is the outer crowning which is going on. It is always better to keep the tacker in a equal distance and distance between two tackers should be approximately 2 centimeter. So this all is going corner we will not uh, fire tacker because corner it will be automatically reinforced by the suture transfacial fixation. Inferior epigastric vessels should be taken in consideration and this mesh is so big that it is covering entire defect all around keeping the margin of the defect in the center. And outer crowning is complete after that you can just try to feel the, the there are few just remaining on the outer crowning. And then you will feel the inter herniation breezes and then you can do the inner crowning. These are the breezes over which carefully you can fire. Take care that your finger should must be supporting from outside so that it will not prick the skin where hernia is there because that may prick the tacker outside the skin and there may be chances of infection as well. So this is inner crowning, inner crowning is also over and now entire surgery is finished. So this way you can perform the Swiss cheese pattern of the incisional hernia. So now surgery is over, after that you will remove the port and remove the gas. So thank you very much for watching this video. This was a simple case of incisional hernia where titanium mesh is used. So now it is over and telescope is withdrawn. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.